So um, my digital app is, uh, my digital platform is inspired by Indian working women. It's called Brown Girl Working. And there's something about me. I'm Sid, I'm your brown girl on the block. I'm a graphic designer, UI UX designer, and this, this project was inspired by my Instagram page where I feature um, you know, Indian women who work. And uh, it's kind of like Humans of New York, but very specific. Um, that's the agenda for the day. So shifting a con the context a little bit, I'm gonna talk about a developing nation, uh, which is India. They say that the economy is doing really well. It's at 8.2% in 2018, but don't believe them. Don't buy it because uh, women's participation is just 27.4%. It's and it's on a down. It's it's you know it's like really like it's going down and uh, as compared to America, which is 47%. So reasons are like cultural conditioning, lack, lack of um, better infrastructure, lack of safety. You know there are many reasons. So you know as designers we want to look at problems objectively and you know a problem represents an opportunity for us so you know with that spirit uh, you know I, my client um, approached me and she's a technology and entrepreneur she's like really big on you know bringing in strong technology to play, uh, to solve problems of just gender disparity in india so the problem is you know um, there's a slump in women's participation in the workforce and Swara, my client, really wants to empower such women. Goals are to start a community platform for women offering support, resources, opportunities, skills, you know, a digital platform where women can really, you know, be themselves and, you know, get empowered. So how might we empower aspiring women to get the right skills and guidance before applying for jobs? Because, you know, they, they lack skills, they, that, they lack basic education. So the success will be measured as the user progresses in her journey towards becoming an independent individual. So throw in some Bollywood there, competitive analysis. So these are some of the competitors there. They're doing, doing a great job. There, there are like a lot of websites I found in America as well and, and Australia. So they have community blogs, e-learning, one-on-one uh, -on -one mentor sessions. Uh, so market positioning, we don't really just want to be a job searching site. We want it to be a women empowerment website um, and, you know, we, based, like, full, like, you know, inclusive of mentorship, networking, everything. So, um, you know, um, I did some research and 67 uh, uh, women were surveyed, six women were interviewed, secondary research was based on TED Talks, articles, government initiatives. So quantitative data, um, you know, we found that 43% women are held back due to family or motherhood, 65% seek mentorship, 35% face economic instability. And qualitative data, we had some keen insights on like women, uh, somebody wanted to learn computers, somebody wanted to learn English, like basic things. Some, you know, somebody's boss was, uh, you know, really, uh, you know, would not treat her right. And the um, target audience is obviously, um, it's very specific. It's Indian w women, aspiring and working women. So based on that, um, uh, I created my user persona. Her name's Pragati, she's 28. Um, she's unemployed, she's, she has a degree, but she's pursuing design at the moment. She wants to pursue design, but lacks the skills. Her frustrations are, you know, she, you know, she wants to be fluent in certain softwares and wants to really take care of her family financially. It's, she's going through financial difficulties. So, you know, uh, uh, I did one a day in her life uh, journey map and based on, you know, some of the key insights, uh, we tried to come up with solutions, community-based networking space where she could really like find support within other uh, working women from other, other working women who can really motivate her. That's the affinity diagram. And based on um, a lot of ideation, uh, I came up with must-haves uh, and decided upon uh, my main, uh, you know, minimal viable pro uh, product. And um, that was a platform where women can seek jobs and skills, community support, and really use uh, resources. And the main um, MVP would be trained to apply where they can actually 
look for jobs and actually train to, you know, aspiring, like it, it'll be aspirational that they are actually training to apply for a job. So based on that idea, we did some low fidelity prototypes where you can see that, you know, as you hover over, like every job has a train to apply section. So as you click on train to apply, you have skills um, that pop up. Uh, you know, these are the skills that you actually need um, to apply for the job. Takeaways were that, um, you know, the, uh, the train to apply feature is really good. It was very easy to na navigate. Based on the low fidelity, uh, you know, qualitative and quantitative uh, uh, testing and results, um, I came across, uh, we did a mid fidelity prototype. And takeaways were the flow is very easy and uh, direct. So um, moving towards our high fidelity, um, this is the mood board. And um, we, uh, doing the desirability testing of the mood board, we came, you know, we, you, we decided upon some brand attributes, which is graceful, feminine, ambitious, rewarding, aspirational. And that's the logo I came up with. It was, you know, inspired by like a revolution. It, was, it has henna, it's very like inspired by Indian women's attire. Um, that's the style guide I think uh, we came up with, and um, you know, I used Dido and Interstate that are really elegant. Some visual study, and I'm just gonna. So, um, <clears throat> so that's the website, and I really wanted to use Indian patterns um, in my website because you know that's something relatable for Indian women, and you know, really elegant, and um, so the user could either go to, um, you know, options from here, she has a hover here, and or let's go to the job skill, jobs and skills section, where the main, um, you know, the, our main uh, MVP of this website is trained to apply where women who lack skills, who lack basic education are, you know, they're we're preparing them to be job ready. So it's just like a, a landing page for you know, they can search for jobs, they have women-friendly organizations that we recommend, company of the week where they have baby care, flexible working hours, paid maternity leave, just like informing, really like making women uh, make, you know, informed decisions before applying for, you know, because a pain point was like some of the workplaces were really um, male dominant in India. So, you know, we really want them um, we want to tell them that which company they should go for and or shouldn't, and women employees rate those companies. So um, going to our MVP, um, so she trained to, uh, there's, as you can see, there's trained to apply in every um, every job that is, she's a graphic, she wants to be a graphic designer. So she clicks on train to apply, there's a drop down, and uh, you know, she wants to learn about typography, there's color theory, and then, there you go, like, and it's, it's by National Institute of Design, which is one of the best design institutes in India. They're offering an online course, it, you know, and you can earn a certificate out of it, uh, out of there. And at any point, she can check her status, her growth. So, you know, uh, the motive is her tracker, actually, as she progresses in her class. It actually, you know, takes, um, you know, uh, fills out. And as she finishes the course, um, she receives a certificate from, from the prestigious institution. And she can apply for jobs now, keep learning, add to resume. There's also mentorship opportunities, one-on-one -on -one mentorship opportunities to build her resume, get feedback on her portfolio, prepare for interviews. And she has a community. She wants to share it. She's really happy she earned this certificate. So she shared this, shares this in Women in Design, which is we have a lot of communities on the platform. And 
she posts it. And there you go, she has like 51 likes and you know, she's like, I'm blessed to have an inspiring network of women. And apart from that, like resources are all about, like we offer counselor services, legal advice to women, transport services because of safety issues, housing facilities, everything. So it's really a platform where women, you know, share their ambitions and success. And um, just a quick Flinto demo. This is how the animations, very graceful, um, just going with the motifs and everything. This is how the animation is going to look like, like the, you know, micro interactions. <coughs> And, um, and the metrics are, um, <laughs> oops. Yeah, so the success of the website would be defined by number of women logging on to it and contributing to communities, taking courses, applying for jobs. Conclusion, uh, women in India shy away from working due to family or motherhood reasons to which reform can be promoted through resource-based ba strategies and community support. Next steps is to build uh, uh, out the resources and community sections to work on mentorship and screening, training models, uh, skills training models, and to conduct, you know, you keep on conducting usability testing at every step and desirable testing. Thank you. Thank you.